gentlemen and ladies, for those of you who are having some difficulty in expressing your thoughts using English, that's why you are having some doubts in creating your own YouTube channel. Guys, here's the deal. If I can do this, you can do this. Let's do this. Hello everyone, I'm back. So my name is Red and I'm from Canada. I would like to share my thoughts with you on one famous Middle Eastern uh, fragrance house. And uh, again, it's from the United Arab Emirates. And I'm pretty sure many of you have been, many of you are currently now a fan of this one because of its very magnetic and um, very attractive uh, scent DNA and I'm pretty sure you are all enjoying your uh, fragrance journey when using this cologne so this is from the house of Rasasi and the uh, year of release is unknown but this is considered as a sweet oriental this is Rasasi's Darwij so Rasasi Darwij it's a 100 ml bottle and it's also a woody perfume so that's the box this is the bottle okay the cap is not tight it's just loosened up so I cannot carry this from the cap so the bottle is very simple okay in the back even the violet juice but the bottle the bottle shape is nice not too fancy but it's okay very simple now <clears throat> on this simple presentation this i would say is phenomenal when it comes to the smell this is outstanding spectacular this is a high compliment getter the the projection of this one is massive on my skin even if it's the current release they said that they have reformulated this i don't believe so maybe a little bit but when when this is macerated i believe in maceration you just leave it in your um in your dark closet for a few months this this is potent this is beast on projection this is really a beast mode on longevity it's also a beast mode so this lasts for more than 12 hours on my skin. This is almost the same beast mode as uh, Christian Dior's uh, Dior Homme Parfum. Okay, they have a different, they, both of them have different smell. Okay, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to projection and longevity, this lasts, this and, and this projects almost the same as Christian Dior's Dior Homme now the notes on this one from the top notes it's cardamom mugworth cumin so spices spices all the way and then the heart notes would be rose and iris and then the base notes would be sandalwood patchouli amber mask vanilla and tonka bean now i would say that the smell of this for me in my experience is suede oily but done in a magnificent way and done when mixed with its with the spices and the iris and rose along with all the woods and the muskiness of it and the sweetness of the tonka bean this rasasis the ridge is done on sexy way on a very sensual way i cannot I think my um, my addiction and perfumes and and my craving for 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 scents um, and in my collection I don't think I'm gonna give this up so I think this will this is a definite keeper in my staple now there's a there's a, a little story on this one because um, I would like to share a good story of this one 
Now, um, a couple of years ago, or maybe three years ago, I decided to wear this at work. So, I did like about four sprays. I didn't even watch if uh, my sprays, I know four sprays is enough already for the ridge, especially if you're gonna go, if you're, if you're going for work, right? If you're going to work. So I did like four sprays, like one, two, three, and then on here and down it. Okay. I didn't, I didn't wear, I didn't spray on my clothes. So guys, uh, when it comes to work, by the way, I just want to tell you that um, as much as possible, don't spray on your clothes. And that was, that is just me. Okay, I, I avoid spraying uh, fragrances in my clothing if I know that I'm going for work okay so just a tip you can agree you can disagree it's okay now um when my customer comes in it's a, a beautiful woman in her probably in her late 20s and early 30s and um, she does yoga and she's a yoga instructor and then she passed by i greeted her she passed by and then she roams around and then when she comes back she 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 sees me again and then she just said hey red you know what your cologne is very good whatever that is you're wearing it is even better than armani code which is my favorite perfume for men and i was like thank you very much and i was so happy because like armani code for me is also a fantastic uh, perfume especially i think during the 90s when i used to have it and uh, early 2000 i get a lot of compliments for from it but uh, coming from a beautiful woman saying that the smell of the ridge is even better than her favorite for men which is armani code and that is special and i said thank you and i appreciate her compliment so that's it guys <clears throat> Rasasi is the ridge. You can never, you can never go wrong with this. Okay, so um, Middle Eastern fragrances have been kind of like circulating in the market for the past four years now, or even for the past eight years, ever since um, Club de Nuit Intense was released in 2014, which I used to have a bottle of the of the first release of it. But then I sold it out, so it's okay. Um, it happens. But I noticed that um, once, tw when during the 2019 up until now, the Middle Eastern perfumes has um, has increased their level of competition uh, com uh, compared or versus the Western releases, Western uh, designer and niche. So I am a believer of the Middle Eastern perfumes now, although guys don't get me wrong, I have some niche here in my collection. I also have designer fragrances in my collection. I also even have uh, perfume oils. But in my own opinion, the uh, releases from United Arab Emirates are impressive and stunning and, and it craves me more to explore, to explore their menu. To explore their releases so I hope it won't disappoint or I won't be disappointed in the long run um, and then the concentration of the oils you can really see the mark of the spray you know the oil in the skin when, up, when you spray on it you can really see it's very visible the oil concentration in your skin and it stays there for a long time and then I also believe on maceration like if you think just like my set drop Boise by uh, from Ansera. Initially, when I open it up, I I sense that it's not that lasting. But then now, I kept it for like two months now, and it changes. It becomes potent, just like the first release of the set set drop Boise. Now I don't have the current release of set drop Boise, the intense version. But for me, my current. Um, macerated Cedrat Boise for me oh it is a beast mode well guys thank you once again going back to the ridge please 
you can blind buy this if you if if you are into sweet orientals if you are into uh, kind of like suede velvety sweet oriental um, combination of spices and woods and uh, combination of sweetness with a little bit of rose and a little bit of iris but it's not a creamy iris go for the ridge the ridge is very competing the ridge is really a magnificent highly complementing magnetic this is a head turner highly recommended cologne for men okay so once again thank you guys i hope you would tune in for my future videos this is red so happy holidays because it's december 18 now in my in my country in canada happy holidays to you to you all and let's uh, continue to share peace and kindness and continue to love and discover fragrances and enjoy our own smell journey until next time let's do this